Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Today's project's going to be super fast. We are going to call it Curve Text, and I just want to show you some options. Step one is to click search, and let's type curve. C U R V E, and let's bring out this curved text. Now you've got the words up here that you can pick. I'm going to just type HL Mod Tech real quick HL M O D T E C A. It lets you pick the point size so you can make it a little bit larger. You can pick how much of an arc it is. So you do have a little bit of ability to play with the text. The radius is how far out it spreads. You can also change the height so that it looks cooler. You could also drag a picture file here, or you could choose one. We will test that in a second, but right now I want to show you my other favorite way to make curved text. I am going to completely leave Tinkercad, and I am going to go to Canva. Once I search, simply click the link, and then I always choose Sign In with Google. As I said, I want to make fancy circle text. Let me show you how cool this can be. Right here, I just want you to type circle text. We're going to look for templates. Now, when they pop up, notice some of them are pro. So that one you'd have to upgrade to play with. Notice this awesome one right here by Noel is totally available for you to play with. All you have to do is simply hit customize this template. So here is customization number one. Pick a cooler font. There are so many fonts to play with. You can have fun just finding what you think is wicked cool. You can also change the words to say what you want. Notice I have double clicked and I'm going to change this to say HL Mod Tech. This one stays all caps, which is fine. And when I click somewhere else, bingo, I have got my awesome curved font. Now I don't want this to be black and white. So let's do that adjustment real quick. All I'm going to do is go here and pick a different color, which really I want this to be black. To fix it, all I'm going to do is click down here in the bottom corner and switch my color to white. Now that I've got my awesome curved font, I'm going to simply screenshot it. I've got mine on a shortcut key, so I can simply grab the part I care about. Once I've screen captured, I'm going to save it as a JPG. Now that I've got it, I'm going to save it as a JPG. And let's switch programs once again. This time I am searching for PIC SVG. Use this website a ton. It lets you upload a picture. There's my text. And turn it into a SVG. You can pick which one of these you want. I think I'm going to actually try internal. Because I do want that filled shape. And I'm going to download the SVG. Once again, I am going to put it in my downloads folder. I may keep this, so I'm actually going to type HL Mod Tech Curve so that I can find it later. Now we can finally return to Tinkercad. I can close that little window and choose Import. And let's find that sweet curve we just built. Always choose the art. Pick a number that you think is more reasonable. Notice this is about 8 centimeters, so I'm going to just make this 80 millimeters right here that way it'll come in at close to the same size but you can see it is a much cooler font and here is my favorite part we've got superpowers over here i'm going to make this a bright red and then i'm going to click Control d and on the second one i'm going to make it white and i'm going to switch it to outer line instead of five i'm going to make that one and press enter I'm also going to bump up the quality, and instead of sharp edges, I'm going to choose round edges. And you can see we have all of a sudden got a wicked cool combination of inside and outside shapes. You can adjust these to do whatever cool effects you want. It is a ton of fun, and you can see it is a lot more fancy than the curved text that was built in. So let's do a real quick test, though. I'm going to go back to the home. I'm going to create another post. This time I'm just going to add a text box. Once again, I will do HL Mod Tech. And of course, the next set of steps I'll repeat. Screenshot, pick SVG, and back to Tinkercad. I'm going to do Control D, move this to the side, and let's try the image. 
So if I just bring in the straight HL Mod Tech SVG, notice I did not name it, course video speed up. And as you can see, friends, it could not handle it. Now, I kind of like this system better anyways, because it gives us these options for default, silhouette, outer line. So I think really in the long run, you can create fancier items just like this. Friends, before I wrap up, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Before that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Down in the bottom right hand corner, you'll find a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, I do also want to recommend the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of users, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. Last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.